top of the food chain, rock with a rat tail, king sanitation, covered at the trap mail, murder with a tail, a black man, how you think I made it in the game, it's a rat tail. Yo guys, what's going on? Tim Pesce, welcome back to another video on the channel. So in today's video, I'll be teaching you guys how to make uh, insane gaming text that you can use basically for anything. You can use it for thumbnails, profile pictures, YouTube banners or headers, or even like pop-ups. So like if you want to hit a like goal, um, you can use like this tutorial to make text for that that could pop up. But yeah, you can use it for so many things. Um, and yeah, it's really, really clean. You will see as we get into Photoshop what we'll be doing. But yeah, if we break 100 likes on this video, guys, that would be insane. Um, we're back on the grind. Thanks so much for the six support recently. We're just gonna keep going. And yeah, let's get straight into the tutorial. Right guys, so we are here in Photoshop. So this is basically what we will be making. It's really juicy, really clean. Um, and yeah, it's very simple to do. And these things will make your stuff just so much better. Um, pixel art's popping at the moment, so I'm gonna be teaching you a lot of pixel art stuff. Um, and yeah, be sick on headers, it'll look really nice on headers, YouTube banners, thumbnails for sure. And also like, um, like goals or some just pop-ups and alerts um, that say like, hit the sub like button or subscribe, all that sort of stuff, or comment down below, or just any sort of text really. Um, but yeah, let's just get straight into it. So what you want to do is open up a new document, so go to File, then New, and we're going to make 2560 by 1440. Um, you can just copy that, very simple. And then straight away we're going to go to Image, Image Size, and make it 256 by 144. Um, I, f I find that's pretty good for this tutorial. And we're going to make the background black, so just press Ctrl I on your keyboard to invert it. Then go to text, um, we're just going to be using a really just blocky font. You can like draw, in pixel art you can draw it yourself, which I tend to do a lot, but for this tutorial I'm just going to use some um, existing text because this is something I'm going to be doing, I'll be showing you specific. Okay, I just typed out Arial, I don't know why. Um, I'm just going to put subscribe maybe, subscribe, and I'm going to scroll down, so it's about want to get a good size, I'll put it in the center, maybe a little bit bigger about that and I'm going to go to window and then character, I'm just going to decrease the space in a little bit, maybe 20, that's pretty good and then what we're going to do is just double click on it on the T to highlight and then go to this little option at the top right here, it's the T with the um, curve underneath it and we're just going to change that to twist right at the bottom and it does this, it looks a bit off at the moment but you can adjust that yourself by messing around with this thing right here and just find, okay it just keeps going to the end, there we go I think that looks pretty good, mess about with it see what looks best, that looks pretty nice um, you don't want it to be too distorted so that you can't read the text so yeah that looks pretty cool I'm go we're going for like a bit of a wavy effect it just looks quite nice and then what you want to do is just rasterize it and as you can see it's quite blurry around the outside like some of the pixels aren't solid so we're going to duplicate this a few times just press ctrl j a lot of times and it should eventually get rid of all the random pixels and if some parts look a bit off, go to the eraser tool, make sure it's on pencil and you can just erase certain areas, so I might just do that using the eraser tool. You can literally just edit the text yourself to however you want it to look. Um, sometimes I, I like to give the edges a curved look, so to do that I just click on the corner and if you do that you can make the text look more rounded. So if you do something like that, okay, I'm going to get rid of that part. This is how you make like, you can do that as well. I think for this tutorial I might just do that as well. We'll, we'll curve the edges, why not? So that's pretty curved. Let's move on to the eye. Just literally just clicking in the corners, it's pretty simple. So yeah, shouldn't take too long. 
keep clicking in the corners. But yeah, you can edit this to however you want. You can pause the video before we move on and just do your thing. Just go crazy. Do whatever you want to do. Almost there. Probably, there's no point speeding this up. I'm just going to carry on with it. But yeah, make sure you get rid of any random spare pixels on the side. So if like up here, maybe just erase that part there. Something like that. And then I'm just going to erase that and do that. And yeah, that looks pretty fine. Um, some random pixels again. Let's get rid of them. And then also you can add pixels into places. So over here on this R, I'm going to add one there. And I'm also going to erase this one there. You want to try and get it really clean and perfect. And there we go, I've got some nice text. I might just erase this part here as well. Do that. And then remove that. It's all about making it perfect. Okay, there might be some stuff that I've missed, but for now, that looks good enough. So what we're gonna do now is double click on the layer and go to gradient overlay. And we're gonna make it um, zero degrees. And you wanna choose two colors, not too different. So on the example, it was more of like a, like a hot pink, like cher cherry color sort of thing. And then I think it was a purple. We can check, let's just check to see what it was. Yeah, it was like a purple to a pink, but like the opposite way around. We'll do the same colors again. Um, so we'll leave it like that. You want to just rasterize it. And then you want to duplicate the layer by pressing Control J. And then Control and click, or Command click on the thumbnail and go to Select. Modify, Contract and Contracts it by one pixel. And press Delete on your keyboard. And then we're just going to make this white for now. But... What we're going to do is we're going to go back over here, go to gradient overlay, and we're going to reverse it. So it's the opposite way around. So now we've got this. And that looks really nice as well. But now we want to rasterize it. And then um, if you press Ctrl J to duplicate it, and then go to select, modify, contract, and then contract by two pixels this time. And then what you want to do is go to select, inverse, and press delete on your keyboard. It sounds pretty complicated, but you, just, you can pause the video if you want, and then just press Control U. And we're going to make this white, like so. Um, yeah, then what you want to do is go to the eraser tool. And we're just going to drag through the middle. You basically just want a bit at the bottom and a bit at the top. And then what we're going to do is go to the selection tool, which is the rectangle tool, and just highlight the top half. And we're going to press Ctrl I on the keyboard to flip it. So now I've got black at the top and white at the bottom. And this gives it a bit of a reflective look. You can maybe set it to overlay, but that can also look nice. But I think I might just keep it like this to make it quite solid and harsh um, lights and then what you want to do is just merge them all together press ctrl e and then underneath it you want to add a new layer and then ctrl click on subscribe or your text select modify expand and expand it by one pixel and then press um, alt backspace or option backspace to fill it in and then you've got this white text and that looks really really nice and if you want to oh yeah okay so go back to the brush tool and the gaps in between so like here just fill them in with white like so and as you can see getting a similar effect right now just fill in the gaps um, or what you can also do as well is if you add a new layer again and then on the white control and the thumbnail <clears throat> select modify expand 
by one and then alt, alt backspace or option backspace. In fact, make sure it's black. And now you've got like a black and white um, outline and that looks sick. Really, really nice and juicy. And then you just wanna control E to merge all them. I'm gonna make the background um, like a dark red so you can see a bit better. And I'm just gonna add a bit of a glow just to finish it off so we can see what we've done. Something like this. Just add a glow behind it. I'm just doing the background just so we can see what we've done. But yeah, that looks really nice. If you're not if you're not too happy with the colours, just press Control U and you can change the colours yourself. And what because we've chosen two similar colours, like red, like a hot pink, then purple, because they're quite close together. If you change the colours, they, they all look pretty good. Like you can change it to anything and it'll look nice. But yeah, that looks really nice. If you're not too happy with the black and white reflection, you can just Control Z, go back and just get rid of it, and then just have the the coloured text without the reflections that we've done but I kind of like it it makes it different um, but yeah obviously that's pretty much it but you can also add some more stuff to it like you could add floating stuff around it like floating pix pixels so if you add a new layer I don't know you could add just random stuff floating around it to make it extra cool but these things like I said this text would look good on anything, especially like pop-ups on YouTube videos. It look really, really nice. But yeah, just clicking in random places. You can do different colours too. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you did enjoy today's video. If we break 100 likes, I'll leave this in the... Um, I'll leave a download link to this in the description if we break 100 likes. Thanks so much for the sick support recently. You're all insane. Let me know what videos you'd like to see from me next. We're gonna we're gonna be grinding guys. We're on that grind. So yeah Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video